Hello and welcome to Animal Care and Control. We are in our back lot right now where our um, cars are at and everything, the vans of course, but we're here for a very specific reason. We have play yards and you all know that for those of you who've been following us for a very long time, we have play yards in our um, back lot that we have used for our precious adoptable dogs. But over time, they've kind of been changed. Um, we've even added a couple. So this one over here that um, <clears throat> is kind of our longest yard has been here for at least 10 years. And um, it has gone through many, many changes uh, through whether it was trying to get new fencing in or just, um, you know, having a, we had a gazebo in there for a short time. And then about four years ago, we had these two yards, the one over there and this one here, uh, added in thanks to a large group who kind of came in and we put up fencing. But again, over time, things had to get changed. And as you can see, it's not dirt anymore. Uh, due, so, due, so, due to some regulations that we had, we had to, um, completely pave over all of the dirt and have this coating now of concrete but don't worry if you're worried about the sun that is beating on down on some of it especially over in that backyard uh, there is a cool coat that has been put down which means that this will stay cool even in the hottest summer sunny months and that way the dog's feet are completely safe so it's so exciting to be able to have our yards back again and now we're doing another grand reopening and to celebrate we're going to we have three dogs here who have you got this is um roman roman okay so adoptable roman this one is adoptable but doesn't have a name yet and then back there is ace so these are um, our dogs uh, that are going to be the first ones to enter into our brand new play yards. We're so excited. So I'm going to count down and when I do, they're going to go inside and they're going to be let loose. So here we go. Three, two, one. Dogs. Let's go in. Here we go. And Ace is going to get into his yard here. And we're very excited about this. Now we're going to let them off leash and let them play and run and have a fantastic time. And while we're kind of doing that, um, we're gonna, um, gonna shove this over to both our um, community outreach officer, Shrewsbury, who you've seen many times, and our beloved volunteer coordinator, who you've also seen many times, Cody, to talk about the importance of the yards, why we have them, and then to talk about if you um, want to help us keep them supplied with items, that are in the yard for them to play with. Um, we're gonna have uh, him talk about what we need or what you can do to help. You know, guys, we really are super excited to have the yards back. You have no idea how long it feels like we've waited to get these back. They're such a, they're just, they're huge for the dogs that are in our care. It's such a big thing. Uh, the stress relief and, uh, you know, just helping with those kennel stresses and the frustration keeping those kind of things down, getting these dogs exercised, getting them out every day, uh, having that time to play off leash and unrestrained, uh, and just to run and chase a ball like Ace down here is doing. It's just, it's it's huge for a shelter dog. It's It really is a big deal. And I can't speak enough uh, to how much it means to us to finally have the yards back, finally have the yards be functional again, uh, finally have our volunteers out here playing with dogs, happy dogs, smiling faces, wagon tongues. It's it's all a really great thing. Plus, it is an awful lot of fun to watch, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I know that uh, we talked about the yards. They had to have uh, some new surfaces put in uh, due to some changes in regulations. Julia talked about those being cool sealed so that they are reflecting of the sun so the dogs won't be out here in the sun's heat. There are some other future renovations planned and uh, we'll talk more about, about that at a later date uh, to help make the dogs a little more comfortable even then than they are now. Uh, and one of the things that you can do in the short time 
to kind of help the dogs is to maybe make a few little donations to give them some things uh, to interact with and enrich their lives while they're out here in the play yards. Um, a lot of things that we use, I'm going to let uh, Cody go over with you and just kind of talk on that and what some of those uses are for those things uh, and how they can help our dogs. Yeah, so a lot of people know kind of the standard toys that we would need for a yard like this. I don't know if you can show over here, but up against the fence. Tennis balls, everybody knows tennis balls. We have them, we use them, um, so we can always use more of those. Actually, a really nice one that we just started using is the closest green ball right there. It's called like a wiggle wag giggle. And that's actually what the dog in the yard right now was just using. You could probably hear it during the video going wah, 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 wah. And that's a super popular toy. Um, and then we have the Jolly Eggs or any of the bigger, harder balls that are going to kind of last for a little while. And anything really that seems play art appropriate that, again, is not made out of wood because wood is not allowed in the yard. So And pools? Pools. We actually, in the, at the end of the yard, I don't know if you have that in here yet, but we do have one little kiddie pool in here, which, again, it's getting hot, so the dogs are going to enjoy that. We had them. The yards have been gone for a little while, so we do need replacements for those. We have one currently, but three yards. And it is another thing that we go through pretty quickly. So any extra kitty pools that you can send our way will get used and will get loved. Um, and are, that's, there, okay. are there any specific toys that we can't use here? Maybe like ropes or soft chew toys? A lot of things like that. Any sort of rope thing. Uh, wonderful for your dog at home probably, but here when the dogs only get this time out, they tend to get a extra excited about whatever toys they have so anything that could lead to some sort of choking hazard we tend to not use here that's why we have the the harder plastic toys for the most part nyla bones would be another one that we can always use more of as well um Hi, Roman. now see even though roman is just hanging out out here and just enjoying life he may not necessarily be playing but the yard allows him to be able to be a dog even for a short period of time while he is out and this is still really good enrichment for him because he gets to enjoy the air and the shade some dogs like to lay in the sun it's quiet mm -hmm. it's been a year of them if they were out here on property they had to be on leash which was still a big positive but it's not the same as being able to come out here and do whatever they want whatever energy level they want to exist at in the yard they can um so that makes a gigantic difference so we got a giant bin that luckily we can keep the majority of our toys in and we're excited to have the yards out so thank you to everybody who has contributed over the years we still need contributions as always um, if you want to find out what we have on our wish list items go to the website at animals.cmpd.org uh, the wish list is under our donation page and then also um, the donation page has our link to donate monetarily so that we can kind of have carte blanche to purchase supplies when we need it and whatever we might need at the time. On that note, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We are in need of homes for these guys, so please definitely come and see us at... 8315 Byram Drive. It's just off of 485 and West Boulevard. Our hours of operation are 11 to 7, Monday through Friday, and 11 to 5 on the weekends. You know, it sounds like I've said that before. I think you have. We're definitely pros. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.